Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Zero Strategy Game and this is Taskmasters, where every Tuesday I go up against other YouTubers to design ships in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. So, let's talk about this week's task, and this week is going to be special because I don't know exactly what the task is going to be. Here's what I know and here's what I don't know. So, I know the setup of what we need to design and what we go up against. I do not know the scoring system. Now, the task is set up as it follows. We do design a ship of 19... Oh, 8. It's going to be a battle cruiser and it's going to be by the United Kingdom. And it's going to be a going up against a huge, huge enemy fleet. And we're going to start at 8,000 meters. And we're going to design a battle cruiser, a single battle cruiser. We are going to go up, though, against the French... We've got one year advantage in uh, terms of technology, that's not a lot. We're going to go up against a single battleship, but four light cruisers, six destroyers, and a whooping ten transports. Now, this is all I know, and I must design the ship using these parameters. But I don't know the scoring system, I don't know how many points I'm going to get for sinking any of these ships. Or, or indeed what exactly our scoring system is going to be and that does make it somewhat difficult because how am I to design this ship without knowing that anyway we're gonna try let's hit the design ship button here let's talk about what we want to do now there are two further restrictions one of them is that we need to have at least long range so that is in this narrow description which was handed in by brother Monroe and the other one is that we do need at least advanced radio the effect of which is going to be to restrict our weight here a little bit, primarily. Now, uh, I think the Northumberland is, uh, is a good name. Uh, let's increase the displacement here. Um, let's go at least too many bulkheads. I think that's going to be alright. Now, costs are not an issue, so I think we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Um, I think we can go for semi-oil and at least induced boilers. I'm pretty much going to pick the best stuff down here um, before we get into any of the other things. Now... We'll need to talk about torpedo protection, and we'll need to talk about this. Now, I don't think we need long-range gunnery, but potentially short-range gunnery is going to be useful, I think. So, let's use that. What can we do in terms of shells? Hmm. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing that we need to consider. We are going to go up against a single battleship, but also tons of light ships. And I think we need to take into account these light ships. So that being said, I think what we're going to do is we're going to base our strategy around using the guns to sink the small ships and maybe using torpedoes to sink the battleship. I think that's a, that's a top-notch plan. Let's try to do that. Do we want to go with standard torpedoes? Uh, we can't use electric. That's a shame. Now, fast torpedoes are useful because they are, well, you guessed it, fast. Can we actually use torpedo? Well, we can use underwater tubes. Let's... Uh, do place a couple of these. Now, what's going to be our range and speed here? Torpedo speed is only 32 knots. That is awfully close to the speed of the ship itself. So we're going to pick fast torpedoes, which does mean we need to come very close, but at least then our chances of hitting are okay. Now, yeah, let's design the rest of the ship. I guess we're going to use the best tower. We're going to best use the best rear tower. I'm going to place that probably a little bit towards the rear over here. Let's place both of these guys towards the rear. And um, we do need some engine, uh, some funnels, of course. Um, let's have a look here. So what are you providing? 37%. Um, let's use two of these guys. That brings us up to 75% engine efficiency. So let's dial down on the speed here a little bit. I think 30 knots would be fine. I don't want to go below that, though. Yeah, but that's 99% engine efficiency. I think that's a fantastic idea. Now we don't really have that much weight left, um, so let's talk guns. We're going to use centerline guns, of course. Mm, and I think we can actually use the smaller type of guns here. Um, let's lose at least six of these guys. Um, let's do use a medium standard barbat. Place that guy on there. So that does give us six, six nine-inch guns, which is at least something. Um, let's go for some secondaries then and I do think we want to use some forward firing power there so what have we got here we've got damage 33 damage 42 so that's nine more that's almost 30 percent more damage are you more accurate though so let's say we're gonna shoot at these guys at a range of 5,000 meters 
So that's a 3% chance to hit, that's a 2.4, 3.6. That's almost twice as heavy. I think actually the five inch guns might be our preferred option here. Reload time, that's, that's what, that's like a six less. Yeah, I think we're gonna use these guys here uh, to save some weight. So um, let's use as many of these as we can. Um, try to fit them in here. Yeah, we can use some of, on the center line there. Now if I do that, this, these guys are probably gonna have a kind of bad angle of fire. But I think that might be all right. Well, we definitely need to dial up the armor here. Well, first of all, let's dial down the deck armor. I think we don't really need that much. And don't expect us to uh, to be fighting at long ranges. Um, I definitely want much, much more belt armor. Um, and I think at some point, Brother Monroe called my designs armored bath tops because they, they tend to be kind of open on the top and then extremely armored on the side. Yeah, see, I don't want to use too much here, and we still need to decide whether we need some sort of passive torpedo protection here, which I'm guessing we do. I'm guessing we do. Double hull. Okay, that's not actually that much. That's only 200 tons. Now, this, on the other hand, is 500 tons, so I don't think we'll, we'll expend that much. We probably also want at least enhanced guns here, which is going to be another 300 tons, so we are way over the top here. Anti-flooding? 100 tons. Okay, let's lose use at least under flooding ones. One. Okay. Yeah, I think that's gonna have to be sort of it. Um, let's dial down on the secondaries here. Um, I think the turrets do deserve a little bit more armor here. Um, let's go up to 10 inches and then we're gonna see what we can do. So what are we really using our tons uh, our tonnage for here? A lot still on the engine. A lot is still on the engine. We can't go up further than this, so what if we go down to 29 knots? Uh, we might actually want to replace one of the funnels then. Or maybe even both. Right, so how are we looking there? Still 100%. So what happens if we place you down? 99.3, honestly that's fine. That did save some weight. And I think we are going to be alright if we are going to use a little bit less here in terms of speed. Yeah, we are still 300 tons overweight, but I think that's going to be okay. How much are we using on the extended attack uh, belt? That's 1,200. Armor belt, that's okay. I don't think the deck armor is that much. No, it's not. Ammunition. Ooh, we do need to talk about ammunition. I definitely, definitely want... Do I want heavy shells? No, I honestly think standard shells in this setup might be useful, but we might want to use increased shells. So that's 400 tons there. And I'm guessing we want increased weight here. 600 tons. 600 tons is a lot. Reload time. You know what? Let's go light shells. I want to try that out against the light chips. Right. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're simply going to dial this down until we are going to hit the number. Okay. Let's say 11.5. That does give us some, some room to maneuver here. Can I place you further to the rear there? Yeah, I can. That's nice. Yeah, but it's definitely already kind of feeling very, very crummy here in terms of weight. I dislike the fact that we're not so well armored. Let's say 6.5 here. And then I guess we're going to pump the rest into the conning tower, which does need an upgrade here. We would be really, really uh, kind of looking badly if that happened there, right? Now let's try to place all of these things here a little bit to the rear and um, so that we're going to get rid of some of the forward weight offset here. What's going on? You seem to be all fine. Why are you complaining? Well, let's move you back. Let's move you guys back. Can I move you over here? Yeah, I can. How about you guys go here? That's fine. Forward weight offset still kind of high though. Can we place you further to the rear here? We cannot. That's actually a little bit crummy. Okay, let's move. Let's try to move some of these secondaries down there. It's not going to make much of a dent here, but at least some. So I'm guessing you guys can move here. Yeah, you can. Slight imbalance there. Let's get rid of you, and then let's try to place another one. Let's say there. I think that's okay. Still forward offset 
kind of kind of high here. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we definitely want, don't want to change these guys. I think we'll have to live with that, even though this is this is not ideal. Don't know what it does. Rotor shift speed, deacceleration. It's not ideal. It really isn't. But I can't see how I could change that without really, really impeding our forward-facing firepower. I mean, the best we could do is try to remove the Bobat, 230 tons. Place you a little bit further to the front, but even that would only have detrimental effects there, I think. Well, well we could remove the U guys, of course, and just pull all of that in here. I think, I think that's how it has to be. It probably helps still, though, to to have all of these guys somewhat concentrated here. Let's move you a little bit to the rear here as well. There we go. I think that's a nice, nice setup. Some guns have poor firing controls. No, I don't think so, actually. Honestly, all of these guys look fine to me. Could potentially put someone else in here. I think that's okay. Yeah. Looks fine to me. And then let's dial up the conning tower a little bit more. Okay. So that's enough fiddling around. Um, I think we will need to hit the launch button. And then I'm going to actually have a look at what this task is all about. So, let's go. Hit the launch button here, let's see what we are up against, and then I'm going to see uh, what the scoring system is actually going to be. Right, there we go. This is our battlecruiser. Ooh, this battleship is huge. This is not good news for us at all. That's a huge battleship. How many turrets is that? I count at least three. No, four. Four turrets. And we can actually see it already, I guess. At least I guess that's the battleship. If, ooh. Oh Jesus. Oh, that's not good. But it's only 9-inch guns. That, at least, is interesting. So, but how many 9-inch guns are these? That's 8, 16, 16 9-inch guns. Jesus. Right. Okay, let's have a look at what the task is all about. So, I'm going to click reveal here. So, France has invaded its former ally and the Spanish government has switched sides in the war. Do not engage any Spanish vessels. Okay, there are no Spanish. I think that's just flag attacks. There are the Fort Light cruisers in the convoy as caught. These ships do not have radio and are unaware of the developments on the land. Repeat, do not engage the Spanish ship, even if they fire on your vessel. Destroy the French battleship and six destroyers as quickly as possible. The fastest time wins. Provided all the light cruisers are still alive and, you, and have at least 80% structure remaining. Take the transport as prizes. Every transport sunk will add a penalty of 10 minutes to your time. Interesting. So, we must not engage these light cruisers. We can engage the destroyers. We can engage the battleship. But we must not engage the light cruisers. And we should avoid hitting the, uh, the destroyers. Now, that's going to be interesting. Now, first of all, let's do turn off our torpedoes here. And let's try to come in as aggressively towards this battleship as we can. We're going to go up with a high speed here. And I do need to check what in exactly we are engaging here. Okay, that seems to be a transport. Now, I do not, I most certainly do not want you to engage that. So let's try to engage the battleship and see what is going to come out of that. Now, I think I need to turn up the audio here a little bit because I don't hear a thing. I did actually have to do a fresh reinstall of the game too due to some hardware issues. Okay, there we go. Now we have these tiny guns. That's that's actually kind of unusual for me uh, to have so, so tiny guns. But look at what's coming in here. That's not great. Well, we are less than 10 kilometers away, so that at least is good. Uh, what range do we have, by the way? Four kilometers. Okay, there's another ship. I'm guessing that this is one of the destroyers. Yeah, that looks like a destroyer to me. We're gonna try to engage you instead of the battleship. Uh, because I think our guns are much more made for that. Right, uh, I actually want you to use high explosives against this target. Let's go slightly faster here. Remember there are six destroyers that we would ideally want to... No, that we must destroy actually to fulfill our mission here. Um, and of course these guys do have torpedoes. Do we know anything about your torpedoes? 
6.1 kilometer range. And that seems to be, I mean, we have four, so they're probably not fast. They're probably normal torpedoes. Um, but that's unfortunate because that range, at that range, we can, we will have a hard time to actually hit you guys. On the other hand, their torpedoes are going to be fairly slow. So that at least is good news. I'm thinking that this is the destroyers that are coming in here. I think we are targeting the right one here. Because it's not covered in smoke currently. The big question is, we are already technically within torpedo range here. So that is concerning. How about you? You are another destroyer. These are all destroyers. And they all have at least five torpedo tubes. Well, that's not boding well for us. That is, that is absolutely not not great at least we are blocking some fire there and they're actually blocking us from getting closer to the battleship which is super shameful that's that's really not great but honestly kudos to the uh, scenario designer here that is brother Monroe and he's he's done a superb job here um, I was thinking that we would need to engage these light cruisers and we don't so that's always kind of interesting Okay, honestly, that guy here is much closer. Let's double check that. It's not a light cruiser. No, it's not. But it is a torpedo carrying vessel and it is carrying me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a hard turn here to the left. Because this guy is way, way too close for comfort. He must have launched already. Okay, at least some hits there. We don't know too much about him. But I don't want to want to meet him that, that closely. And we'll need to turn the uh, need to keep the torpedoes off because otherwise we're just going to hit um, one of the destroyers or something else. Well, good flooding there, but I'm always afraid that these light ships are, have way too much capabilities to recover from damage like that, um, and it just seems ridiculous the point where they can bounce back. It's like they have super magical unicorn pumps. That's not great. Okay, eleven slight damage there on us. Okay, we do know something about him. We do know, most importantly, that he has launched torpedoes. But it must have been a while ago. And I don't see them hitting us, so they probably are somewhere over here to the left. Question is, do we want to change targets now that we know he has already launched? Okay, there they are. Right, um, let's pause here for a second and let's consider this. No, they're going away from us. So I think actually we can turn back here to the right. Oh, you know what? Let's complete a full circle here. I think going in circles, quite literally, is going to be our best option here. That is a complete set of five torpedoes, and I do believe that is whatever you launched. We do know something about you now. Um, oh, by the way, we know that these guys have reduced torpedo loads. So they only have two, two salvos, basically. So that's good news. The bad news is he is completely recovered at this point. Okay, um, let's change... Fire to the Etendard here. Because I would love to sink him. It's also very nice that these guys are actually so close to one another. By the way, you are, I'm guessing, the light cruiser. Yeah, that is a light cruiser. Do we know whether you have torpedoes? If you have, we are going to be in big trouble. And I'm thinking you have because this, this range here is just a little bit weird. Okay, um, speaking of, how are you guys doing? You've launched. You haven't launched. The filibuster. I don't think you were the one who's launched before. Um, let's still try to go in circles here. Because I am scared about any torpedoes. Again, we've, we've managed so much damage on him. But it doesn't do us any good. If we can't follow up on that damage. And he can just pump it out. We've actually hit him now. Well, that's interesting. We are hitting him a lot. Okay, he and he is continuing to flood, so let's actually try to hit him more. And try to get rid of him. Um, I'm guessing we can go a little bit straight here. Try to get away from these ships. And we've already 12 minutes in, so that's not great. But, oh my. Okay, come on. Just at least kill one of these destroyers. It's so annoying. Stop it. They've launched, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, they have. Um, let's try to turn away. 
I'm not too hopeful that that is going to be successful. But I'm at least guessing that these guys are not very fast, are they? 32.5 knots, yeah. That's a little bit slower than we are. But honestly, not by that much. Do need to get the bearing right here, though. No, that is still an intercept course. Let's try to move away there. I really, really would like you to sink this ship. Come on. This guy is actually more threatening because this guy has now, at this point, at least gotten rid of most of his torpedoes. Okay, let's do a full circle here. I think that's the best we can do. See, in retrospective, I probably didn't need to put the front gun there on a barbat, but still. Yeah, and see, he's, he is going to be able to recover from a lot of that. That's, that's just unfair. Just the, I mean, this is pretty much designed to deal with light ships. Light destroyers. And still, it really, really struggles to do that. It's annoying. It's annoying, it's ahistorical, and it just doesn't doesn't work well for me come on just get rid of him already such a low chance to hit though and he's pumping all of that water out now so so annoying okay let's switch to this guy because he is definitely gonna launch and we'll need to do a hard turn here to avoid being hit I think these torpedoes are gonna go this way roughly or they're gonna come down here somewhere yeah there they are Okay, that's fine though. He's now out of torpedoes. That's at least a good development. I mean, the one thing going for us here is the fact that they don't really have enough uh, enough capabilities. Right, okay, since he's not a big threat anymore, let's try to focus on the Etendard here. Nice, good hit there. Some flooding. But is it going to be sustainable? And there's still the battleship in the background trying to fight us. Come on, yeah, there we go. I need more flooding though. I do need him to flood. This guy still hasn't launched, that's good. I shouldn't go too fast here. Because if we're gonna be hit, it's probably gonna be and game over for us. Come on, come on, flooding there, that's that's what I love to see. Some flooding on him too, that's that's nice but not critical. Okay, he has launched. We need to get out of here. Yeah, that's good. Right, um, let's try to get you, even though you're not the most important target, but you're already a little bit wounded, so that's nice at least. I probably would have needed rearward firing guns, I realise. Filibuster, only four torpedoes left. Okay, I think we can turn back into this. Let's try to focus on you guy, on this guy, because he has a full load of torpedoes left. We've only w sunk one ship at this point and we're already 21 minutes in. This is really not going great. Still using high explosives, so that's good at least. We could of course try to send some torpedoes his way, but um, I'm a little bit reluctant. Because we would be hitting some other ships. And oh dear god, these light ships, these light cruisers do have a lot of torpedoes. 12. 12 torpedoes. That's just, that's just uncalled for. Okay, at least we can go towards the battleship there, if we can keep up this course. Depends a little bit on whether this guy's going to go down or whether he's going to launch before that. I don't actually know whether the AI has, is, is in any way programmed to send out torpedoes just before it sinks. Sometimes it seems like that. But here, in this case at least, it seems like this guy... Well, I'm trying to say that, but he's he's still recovering from that flooding. Just look at how many how many sections there are flooded. And he's still, still very much afloat and very much a threat. Penetration fire there, that's nice. But again, he's he's... He's been able to pump out all of that. It's just... Sorry, guys. This is just not... If you have a destroyer that has been hit by that many shells, it's not going to be saying, Oh, the, I'm, I'm roughly at 50% structural integrity. Don't mind me. Everything is fine. This is just a little bit... A little bit bullshit, honestly. 
Right, this guy's coming in, but he doesn't have any torps left, so it's not a big, big factor there. Jesus. Stop. What's this? More torpedoes, but there's such an angle that I, I very much doubt that they are going to get us. We, they are going to force us to move away a little bit, though. Yeah, and this guy still has the most tops left, so he is the biggest threat. I think this guy must have just launched. I don't remember him having any tops or not, but evidently he doesn't have now, and there's some tops coming from that way, so... What I'm guessing is that those were his. Come on, get the Forch. Forchy? I don't know. Yeah, some flooding now, but we all know where that ends. In him pumping out that water. Oh, come on now. That's enough. That must be enough to get him down. Okay, that's ship number two. Destroyer number two. I'm going to guess that it's going to be slightly easier here. Let's try to move in with these guys. We shouldn't cross in front of them. And we almost have the same speed, but I think we're fine now. Where's the battleship? Over there. We've got a couple of destroyers here that are still trying to cut in. They're probably going to be the bigger threat, but this guy is much closer. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use our main guns on this guy and secondaries on the filibuster. Yeah, we've avoided all fire here. We've got these light cruisers. What's your torpedo range? Four kilometers. Okay, so they are fast. Fast ships too. That is good. Okay. 12 torpedoes per light cruiser. That's that's a lot. Right, let's see about these guys. I really want to try to get the battleship. I don't think it is the main threat to us at this point. I still think it's the torpedoes. Um, but since this is about time, for light cruisers that we've got two of these destroyers, right? Yeah, the ver ver Verity? Verity? Going a little bit away. Oh, that's that's a nice hit there. Engine damage too. That's good. Now we must, in the no circumstances, engage these light cruisers. They are an ally to us, or they have um, surrendered. I guess was that it. Okay, uh, let's try to use you. Um, didn't mean to turn you about there. Mm, you guys might soon be launching torps, which I would really dislike. These are also going to be much faster torpedoes, which we cannot outrun that easily, so we do need to turn away. How fast are you guys? 27 knots. Okay, we can actually outrun you. That's interesting. Okay, we're still going to try to attack the Gambian here. I don't think uh, we have any chance of penetrating this gentleman here. No, pretty much no. 12 torpedoes, 12 torpedoes, still going fine here. You guys are still following us, but it's kind of inconsequential. Right, let's try to turn a little bit inwards here towards the battleship, which ultimately we do need to torpedo. Okay, good hits there. Some hits on this guy still, maybe? That guy there has disappeared into the clouds. It's really not going great in terms of speed here. I should probably have picked a very different design in terms of... I should probably have focused much more on guns. If I had known what we are up against, I would have faced, uh, used more guns to try to sink the battleship and the destroyers. I mean, we would not not have needed to be concerned about the light cruisers. But given that I thought we would be engaging light cruisers, I thought we'd be doing well to have a lot of guns. Uh, a lot of small guns. Going up against 10 light ships like that. Okay, let's try to hit this guy. He's much closer now. And I think it would be great to have you sunk. 12 torpedoes. We are. He's in a perfect position here to send torpedoes our way. I don't know why he doesn't. Certainly welcome for now, but I'd much rather have him. Ooh, that's a nice hit. Uh, I'd much rather have him do that now rather than much later. Um, 
at the point when we are close to that battleship. Okay, come on. Get the third destroyer here. That would be at least half of the destroyers. That's a good hit. That is what I like to see. We must keep an eye on the you guys though. Come on, come on, come on. He cannot recover from that. I'm going to be super, super annoyed if he does. We have a 36% chance of hitting him. There we go. Nice. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Do not engage that guy. Do engage the battleship instead. Okay, we're going to go full on on the battleship. We're going to go armored piercing, obviously. And hope and hope that we can do some engine damage to him or something similar. Now, there are some destroyers here all the way over there, but they are very hard to hit. So I don't think that is going to be what we're going to try to do. Oh, there we go. Um, he's sent out torpedoes. Um, let's do a hard right turn here. Oh, and these are underwater torpedo tubes. So the good thing is only going to be a spread of two. But, oh Jesus. No, that might actually work out fine. Just about though. I think it's going to work out fine. Yeah. So uh, the disadvantage of him using underwater torpedo tubes is A, he's going to be able to reload quite fastly. Uh, and secondly, he has a lot of reloads left. So we're not going to be able to uh, whittle him down like we did with some of the destroyers where we just uh, avoided them once or twice. And we were basically golden. Okay, I think we can go a little bit faster here. Yeah, but it's still almost an hour already. Right, let's uh, try to go a little bit faster here towards the front. He's almost going to be able to reload. These guys are far away though. A lot of guys far away in various directions. That's okay there. Right. Ten torpedo tubes on you. Uh, ten torpedoes on you, I should say. Right. Our torpedoes do have a range of four kilometers, right? Yeah. So we can send one his way, sort of facing front, and then try to get him on a, on a, on a side cell, though. You guys are all fine, you haven't sent out anything. You guys have almost reloaded. Gambian, you're far away. You've also got a couple of reloads there. We must not get too close to him. I would love to sink him. You, it would be so easy to dispatch. Oh dear. I completely ignored the fact that the battleship might have some torpedoes as well. So that's going to be a challenge. Okay, let's turn slightly to the left here. I think that's going to be alright. But we need to weather these guys as well, because otherwise, I don't know what's going to happen here. Right, and he's almost reloaded. And at that point, we need to turn away from him, because there's no way how we can deal with that. Okay, we've done our first tiny bit of damage here. It's really, really tiny. Right, he's ready to fire again. We do need to keep an eye on him. Ricochet there. We, uh, we really can't pen him. Uh, what do we actually know about his armor? So, standard pockets, that's not great. Mm, do we know anything? anti torpedo protection or anything? anti top 2. Mm, that's pretty good, unfortunately. 20 knots, that's actually kind of slow. And he's got 9.2 deck uh, belt armor. Which uh, we can... Wait a minute. So, he's also got crop whatever no nickel nickel steel do you know anything about okay that's plus 43 so let's call that 13 inches or so we can potentially pan him at, at extremely low ranges if only we had picked different um, different ammo maybe maybe heavy guns maybe bigger guns Bigger guns would have been really useful. But then again, just notice how much trouble we had with trying to sink um, some of the destroyers. Okay, I'm going to briefly turn on the torpedoes here, hoping to send some his way and uh, get him to maneuver a little bit more aggressively. And maybe get rid of these uh, light cruisers in the meantime. I think we really can't pen him still. He can certainly partially pen us, and we do need to be mindful of these guys. Okay, 
The destroyer here is not that uh, important. Okay, I need to go to normal speed here because this is going to be complicated. Right, this destroyer has still some stuff left. This one doesn't. This guy does have, but we cannot attack him. This is a pretty decent chance to hit, actually, at this point. So... I would really love to send out some tops now. Okay, we are sending up a torpedo here against the battleship. Let's try to do a hard... A hard right turn. That is, I think, what is going to happen, because he is going to turn into to the left here. He's going to turn away from that torpedo. So let's try to come up behind him, trying to use that to our advantage. Ten torpedoes, ten torpedoes. He's not firing, so that's good to see. Okay, he has detected these torpedoes now. And we should be able to hit him now. Nice. Good stuff. Now, sorry, if we were to turn completely right, no, that wouldn't do... Yeah, that might still be our good best chance here. He's losing some water there, but he also has his torps. So if we're going to go around him like that, he's going to be able to engage us pretty aggressively. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is going to go straight and hope to, to hit him here again with our torps. Let's wait a moment there. Penetration destroyed secondary gun, that's good. Ten torpedoes, ten torpedoes. Block there. Okay, some penetration, some fire. He is flooding. He has some, some damage, but it's not a lot. He has no ability to send torpedoes our way. Oh, there's flash fire. That's lovely. That's lovely. That's very nice. Okay, torpedoes out. Be mindful of this guy. Right. Hard right turn, hard bank to the right. Would that be enough to get out of their way? It would. I'm thinking this guy's going to launch while we are on this turn. I'm thinking he's going to launch while we're on this turn. Still, I think we need to try to get rid of the battleship. So let's try to, to, to sort of hit him while we can with our torpedoes too. And he's currently having some issues here. So that's nice. Oh, another flash fire. Okay, our torpedoes have been launched. We are turning in here. And this is going to be hairy. This is going to be extremely hairy. How many flash fires can he get? Okay, we've evaded these torps here. That's lovely to see. I'm still going to continue to turn to bank as hard as we can. Because he needs to, he needs to, uh, we, we need to be careful about these large ships basically. Right, this guy, he's still got one torpedo tube left, so that also is an issue. And we've missed with both of these torpedoes, but we've got, done some really nice penetration here. That is good to see. His torpedo tube's big, big issue though. He's very slow though at this point. Light cruiser not launching at us. We are taking some damage here. I think all in all we are fine. This guy is irrelevant for our purposes. I'm very, very concerned about this guy because he has fast torpedoes. There we go. That's that's an issue. Right, stop. I'm not sure we can avoid this one except by doing this. Okay, let's throw in, throw in the reverse. Let's throw in the normal ship. And let's turn as hard right as we can. Turn on our torpedoes. We've got some penetration, some flooding here. That's not great. But I'm not sure it's going to be the worst. Let's try to send some torpedoes this way. Light Cruiser still hasn't launched. That's at least good. Come on. Come on. You're going to get a good angle here. Don't disappoint. Please don't disappoint. Come on, send some torpedoes this way. I know you can, I know you can. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. 
Okay, let's try to get out of here. That's gonna be a good hit there. Yeah, nice. And another one. Yeah, there we go. Structure extremely low, flotation pretty bad. It, pretty much across the entire keel there. So that's lovely. Um, let's do turn this off. Let's do try to hit you. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the tops. Nice. Okay, there we've got. Finally sunk the battleship there. That's that's at least good news. And um, we're gonna try to get rid of this guy very quickly here. Uh, while we are so so close to him. Come on, can you actually hit him, please? There we go. Fire flooding. Nice. Engine damage. Lovely. So who else do we need to sink? Right, there we go. Um, let's try to sink Gambian. And I think we are not to sink any of these uh, any of these transports. So that is going to be okay. I forgot to count all of the destroyers. We are down to pretty much one hour here. 56 minutes in game time. Right, good hit there. I think you guys might be retreating. That would certainly be my wish, so maybe it's wishful thinking. Mm, let's go for high explosives here. I think we didn't do that on the other ship, but it seemed to work fine. Yeah, you definitely have no armor there, so that's nice. You're a little bit too close for comfort there. Let's try to turn in more. Let's try to accelerate here. How much knots are you making? 23. Okay, so we, I think we, these are the two destroyers that we still need to sink. Mm, and I'm going to focus on this one because he's much faster at this point. I think we can catch up to the other one, but I'm not sure. Right, um, we can pretty much sail directly at you, I think. Oh, he's launched. Let's uh, try to turn about. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, I need to turn that down a little bit because otherwise I'm going to be overwhelmed with the, the, his tops. But come on, I mean, you've, you've basically got him at point blank range there. He's, he's launched another one. That is going to be our doom. At this, at this distance, that second top here that he's just launched, that must be somewhere about over here. You know what? Let's uh, try to slow down here. That guy might still be a problem, and the light cruiser, which is somewhere behind us. Okay, looks like this torpedo is going to pass in front of us, which is lovely. Is he going to launch another one? Don't think so. Let's turn our engines back on. Okay, he's sinking now. Let's try to focus on this guy while we can. He's still got six torpedoes, and I think he is the last one. Yeah. So that is lovely. By the way, I do think you can hear the other guys posting about today's challenge. Slightly, slightly behind the other guys. I don't know how they did. I did not pay attention to that. But let's see. Okay, he has definitely launched right now. We are on a turn to the right here. So let's try to complete that turn to the right. While we can. And I think we are going to end this at about the 70, 70 minute mark, I am guessing. Mm, he's lost two engines. Let's actually try to t torpedo his his uh, ship. If he's going to try to send some our way, we're going to try to do the same with him. Right. Come on. Come on. Can we end below 50 m minutes? Okay, he's actually launched. So that's okay. If we go a little bit more aggressively against him now. And I'm going to guess that we're going to end very soon here. I'm really interested to see how the other guys did. It's not entirely sure that I didn't read anything. I just glimpsed the fact that uh, Spartan has mentioned that something maybe maybe didn't go uh, all his way. Or that maybe he misread something. Uh, but I don't know. So do check out his videos and of course everyone else's. Oh, we're going to top him. We're going to top him. Nice. Uh, that's what you get for trying to, to come up to a capital ship. There we go. Okay, stop it. Um, I think this is it. I cannot see any other ships. These are these are the transport ships. These are the light cruisers. So this is officially the end of this scenario. We are done at 8 hours, 53 minutes left. So do check out everyone else's. 
and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below and hope to see you around next week bye bye guys <laughs>